such a mind fuck. Oh man, I am fighting through every single demon right now. Come with me to do a seven hour training block. I decided to do this inside because every time I've done this outside for the past few weeks, the weather, the cars, there's so many uncontrollable variables that have stopped me from getting my training in. What do you eat when you have a seven hour training session? Well, my goal is to get between 150 to 200 calories an hour. So right now, this is what I'm starting with. Take a look. I've got some baby food pouches. They're about 70 calories each. I've got a nice little oat bar, a protein meat stick, salted dried mango, some fruit chews, a banana, strawberries, pawn de queijo made from scratch Brazilian cheese bread, some ketones, and also some water and some powdered calories. I've been really digging this one right here. It's about 400 calories per serving and I'm gonna put that into a bottle and drink it. So I'm gonna lock myself in the pain cave and I'm gonna spend six hours on the bike. I'm going to do a brick workout, so get off the bike and immediately put my sneakers on and get onto the treadmill for seven mile repeats. So a mile uh, recover, jog for 0.25 miles and then do that seven times through with a warm up and a cool down. So join me along the way. Here we go. Starting from ground zero. In three, two, one, here we go. Oh yeah. Had a big breakfast, had some French toast, had a breakfast sandwich, bacon, egg, fries, uh, avocado, tomato, mayonnaise. All right, tuning out and tuning in. And look who's here. Ali Grumps. Yeah, man. Decided to come get a row in while I have a very long day. What are you going for, Dad? Huh? How long are you going for? 5,000 meters. Nice work. Apple doesn't fall far. Look, I landed here. One hour in, 17 miles covered. I wasn't ready for that push. It was 30 minutes, uh, I think like 160. And then I thought it was gonna be rest, but it wasn't. It was another 10 minutes at 190. And now I'm in a 15 minute recover at 120 and this was set one and I've got five more to do so there's six total. I consumed 500 calories in liquid form and now my water bottle's empty. I'm going to switch it up for just plain water and I'm going to eat this whole bowl of strawberries. Pretty pumped about that. So I'm going to get going now and just eat them over the next hour. It's uh the Sunday after my son's first birthday party yesterday. But today is a seven hour effort and I wanted to be present for family but also understand the importance of getting this training in since we're literally 20 days away from race day. And this is my second to last long uh, ride, the last one being next week. So I understand that the next two weeks are critical for training. And so I made a decision this morning that I might be backfiring but I chose to wake up with my baby boy feed him breakfast, hang out with the family. So that means I'm gonna be in this pain cave from 12 p.m. to probably like 7.30 tonight and roll with it. And I'm so excited to be in this season of life, pushing my body, pushing my mind, staying on top and giving my all and showing up with everything I got. But I'll be honest with you, this is not the right time to be Ironman training in my life. So after World Championships in December in New Zealand, I'm gonna hang up my shoes no matter what happens. And I'm gonna say this out loud and record it here so that I hold myself to that. But um, I'm a competitor at heart, which is so hard, hard to hang up my shoes in this sport while I'm doing pretty well and enjoying it. But the timing just isn't aligned. I'm not uh, aligned. I'm not gonna get these days back, this time of life back with my son. And so maybe I'll revisit this endurance adventure at some other point in my life, but the time isn't now. I'm very excited for January, which means no more 
long, long six, seven hour training days, more time with the family, and uh, I'll set myself a new goal. I already know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be jujitsu. So excited to start doing jujitsu next year. I've got strength, I've got stamina, I have zero skills. And so I'm ready to, to add more tools to my tool belt, put myself into a different, uncomfortable environment and try and learn a new skill. So hour two, just hit 34 miles. Set two out of six. Housed all the strawberries, almost finished water, and now I'm moving on to two apple pouches. Very excited. Let's see where this goes. Gonna lie, don't wanna be here because my whole family, they're doing a pool day, saunas, recovery, beers, and look. Look who that is. High five. Yeah. High five. High five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this. And this is the MVP right here. My mum with ice and fruit. But, oh, and water. What's underneath? Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Morale just went up. I have four more hours. No, no, no. Three more hours. Sir. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Thanks, mum. <laughs> More of support. Okay. Three hours in. Just hit 42.7 miles. I don't want, I still don't want to be here. <laughs> it's so boring inside. Pretty deep into this true crime documentary. It's pretty decent. My mum just showed up as the real MVP with some fruits. Some ice. Halfway, baby. On the bike. Me. I'll keep it real with you. I am on the struggle bus. Oh my gosh. It's been three hours and 48 minutes. I've only covered 49.31 miles. And my legs just don't want to do this right now. Such a mind fuck. Oh man, I'm fighting through every single demon right now. Every single excuse to not get off this bike. I think it's important to show this side. You know, I don't know if it's because it's four hours on a stationary bike inside. Or if I'm just tired. There's so many things. I just don't want to be here. I'm going to keep it real with you. I am not having fun today. 4.30 p.m. I have just over two more hours on the bike and then 7.8 something miles to, to run. Man, I know better than to get off. I'm not going to get off. But this is where character is built. My discipline is being tested. My mindset, my legs hurt. I'm tired, man. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Ah. Uh, but that attitude doesn't make it any better. So I better switch my state of mind and fucking wrap this shit up, you know? Right, okay. Got moral support here. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Five hours in and just shy of 60 miles. Five out of six sets done. Holding on. And that little support and visit from my parents was a nice morale booster. But man, my quads are not happy with me right now. Woo! <sighs> six minutes away from six hours. Total distance is not that far. Uh, 67 miles. And I'm gonna transition as quickly as I can and then hop onto the treadmill to see what I got. It's my knees. My knees hurt, my quads hurt. So bad. Oh boy. Oh. All right, warmed up. 
We got past the weird, weird awkward phase. Just hit my first mile. That is 7.40 split. Feeling good. So it's a mile on at about a 7.40 minute mile pace. And then a quarter of a mile, I'm taking a 10 minute mile pace. And then I do that seven times, I believe. Actually, let me just confirm my facts here. Is it seven or is it six? Because I do not want to do an extra one. Let's have a look. It is, oh, hi baby, I'm the best visitor. Five times, that's amazing, I can do this all day. Let's go boy! Morale is up now, baby. Woo! And only five sets, all day. All day. Yeah, baby. I am beaming. Five out of five at a 7.4 minute mile. I am pumped. I got all five. Total mileage with warm up and cool down. It's gonna be about just under eight miles. And that is after a six hour ride of health. I'm so glad that I persevered because I was spiraling. I'm sure you, kept, you got that, right? I was spiraling out of control. And this is just a beautiful lesson of perseverance because now my confidence is beaming. And uh, if I didn't push through and see what was on the other side of that gross shit that I just went through, then I'd probably end up in that spiral till race day on this loop of, I'm not ready, I can't do this, what am I doing? I'm not fit enough, I haven't, committed enough, like all the things, right? But I don't think that's true. Ah, feels good. Feels so good. I'm so ready. I'm gonna get the meat sweats after this. The boys went out, family went out for barbecue. Baby is sleeping with our nanny, thank goodness. And I feel so bad. And uh, I'm gonna have ribs, brisket, cornbread and pickles waiting for me on the other side of this. I'm gonna sauna, I'm gonna cold plunge, and I'm gonna get an incredible night's sleep. I am so happy I persevered. Woo! So that, my friends, is a day training with me. 20 days out from my first full Ironman, 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, finishing up with a full marathon of 26.2 miles. Back to back to back, quick transitions with little to no rest. And mark my goal, I'll put it here for you. I'm let, setting some very low expectations for myself. I'm showing up with what I got. And my goal, the only goal I have, is to have fun, be grateful, and try my hardest to finish in under 15 hours. Let's see what I got. Feeling good right now. And this is seven hours of nonstop work. It was a struggle, but physically right this moment, I could keep going. I feel so good. So that's a good confidence boost. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.